All right, and welcome to this session of creating a Google account. You need to watch this um, in order set up so you can do activities using Google Drive. So first step, I'm going to go to Google.com. In the search engine, I'm going to type in Google Account. As you can see, it's going to bring up a lot of results in a short amount of time. Always fascinates me to see how quickly Google can bring up all that. Um, but I'm going to click on the first one, Google Accounts. It's going to bring me to this page right here. So if you don't see this page, you need to go back to Google Search, type in Google Accounts, uh, and get to this page. All right, students, you want to put in your actual first and last name. Uh, don't put in nicknames because you're going to be submitting items via Google Documents. I won't grade nicknamed items. I'll only grade them from students in my class. All right, next step, choosing your username. I want everybody in my class to click on, I prefer to use my current email address. Here's why. I want you to use your OR TN email address because if we're at school and you've forgotten your password to get into Google Drive you can have it emailed to your ORTN email address and check it on Skyward. Uh, a personal email address you may not be able to check due to the school's filter. So whatever your username is at ORTN.edu. In terms of passwords you need to create a password that is 8 characters. I recommend you incorporate some type of numbers in there. As you can see Google tells you if your password is um, strong. So you're going to come confirm it. Let's put down here a pretty important date in US history and we'll just say 2000 since it's a year that a lot of you all were born or close to a year a lot of you were born. Uh, gender, I'm going to put down my gender, male. For phone number, you need to put an actual working phone number here. Uh, I'm going to put in a dummy phone number, 901-55, and I'll explain to you why, but you need to put an actual cell phone uh, or landline. Actually, it asks for a mobile phone. You need to put a mobile phone number in there. Here's why. When you click on this skip this verification part, click here to agree. Here's why the phone number is so important. Google is going to send either a text message or call that number and it's going to give you a verification code. That's the only way to finish the process. If you don't have the verification code, you won't have a, a set up Google account. So I'm going to click continue because, and I'll take a text message. Since I used a fake phone number, nothing's going to that number, but um, the verification code will come to you via text or if you chose for a voice call, uh, Google will call you and read off a six digit code you punch in the six digit code, click continue, and you're good to go. All right, you need to make sure you set up a Google account. Those of you that had turned in your technology letters, uh, we will be using Google Drive for the rest of the school year at various times for various projects. And this is a great opportunity for you to find a, a really positive way to collaborate and work with your classmates. All right, if you have questions, I'll be posting this on Edmodo as well as Skyward Message Center. Please feel free to email me at C-A-L-A-Y-T-O-N at O-R-T-N dot E-D-U. All right, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Tomorrow's topic is going to be the Monroe Doctrine.